What's up guys, it's Coach Reed. I'm with Maya today, who's a recent commit to Pepperdine for beach volleyball. And we're gonna be taking you through three exercises that you can do to help prevent knee injuries. And this is crucial for volleyball players. So none of these exercises are gonna need weight. So these are easy to perform. And in our vert and strength program, we often add these short routines to take care of our knees, our hips, our shoulders, and this one's great for our knees. So the first one we're gonna do is gonna be wall sit variations. So she's gonna set up with her feet hip width apart. You're gonna sit down into a wall sit. Now, if this is tough for you, you can stay in this position, but Maya can increase the difficulty by extending one leg and going to a single leg wall sit. So we're gonna hold this anywhere between 20 to 40 seconds. So this is called an isometric exercise where the quads contracting hard, the muscles are really working, but there's no movement associated. So this is the first exercise in the routine. So you can come out. Our second exercise is gonna be a single leg RDL variation. Now this is a hamstring strengthening exercise. It's also a great core stability exercise and ankle stability stability exercise. So for the single leg RDL, Maya's gonna start with a small bend in this knee. She's gonna hinge forward, so let's see that. Everything's staying in a straight line, she's gonna come back. She's trying to keep this foot elevated off the ground, if she can for all the reps. This is gonna bring more stability component at the ankle and the foot. You can even do this exercise without wearing shoes, so this would make it even better. But let's see it with a knee drive. So if you add a knee drive, it makes it harder. There's a greater stability component. And if you wanna take it one step, one step further, Further, you can even add some dumbbells to this exercise. Great control. Great, so our third and final exercise is called a soleus raise. So we're gonna be working on strengthening her ankle. The soleus is the deep muscle under here, and this muscle is really, really important. So she's gonna come up high and then slow on the way down. Come up high and slow on the way down. You can make it tougher by going to one leg. This makes it a lot harder. Slow on the way up and control the way down. So what a lot of athletes find when they do this exercise, they have a really hard time controlling the way down. But think when we land, we gotta absorb those forces as well. So it's a really important exercise to work on to keep our ankles nice and strong. Maya, great job with those three exercises. So that full routine shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes. Just do two to three sets of each exercise. It's not about exhausting yourself, right? It's not about getting so fatigued. It's more about quality of what you're doing, right? And when it comes to being a volleyball player, because we're doing a lot of jumping, a lot of arm swings, a lot of that type of stuff, you want those small routines scattered in your week, even when you're really busy, so that we can stay strong and we can keep our body functioning well. Anyways, guys, we appreciate you tuning in. We'll catch you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this content. And if you're serious about jumping higher and gaining strength intelligently, this is exactly what I help volleyball players with, with our vert and strength optimization program. Now you can learn more about that program in the link in the description, or there will be a link somewhere. The first step in that link, you'll fill up a quick two minute application. Then you can book in for a complimentary Zoom strategy session where you discuss your goals, your training experience, and create your vert and strength roadmap. So you know the process to move through to help you jump higher. Anyways, if you guys wanna take me up on that offer. Find that link below and I'll catch you guys later.